My name is Tom Orland Smith. I was born here in Gwinnett County. I grew up with divorced parents going back and forth between two different denominations and always felt very conflicted. I always knew about Jesus, but I never opened myself up to him as a savior, father, or friend. When I got kicked out of Christian school in seventh grade, I turned away from Christ completely. I began to make decisions based off of fear and self, and upon entering high school, allowed fear to run my life completely. I began to numb myself, trying to fill a brokenness with drugs and alcohol. I became bound by sin in the chains of my past. This lifestyle led me to jail over a dozen recovery institutions and many life-threatening situations. In 2015, heroin had become my master. I overdosed and lay without a pulse in North Fulton Hospital for several minutes. When I came to, the first thing I asked the medical team was if I was in heaven. I made my way back to the rooms of AA and began to work the 12 steps. These steps helped me to maintain my relationship with Christ on a daily basis. I chose to repent of my sins and to believe in Jesus and that he was the one that gave me another chance in that hospital. I never understood that Christ was there the whole time tapping me on my shoulder during all of my close calls. In 2016, I became a husband and a father to my beautiful daughter, Adeline. She is a constant reminder to me of God's goodness. In 2017, my wife and I found Gwinnett Church and joined a small group. This community has helped me see the man Christ has called me to be. This past year has brought many trials, but during that time, I knew Jesus was at the center of my life and I depended on him to bring me through. Jesus made me realize through AA and Gwinnett Church that I can use my chaos as a light to benefit others. I wanna thank my mom for always standing by me and showing me the power of prayer. I also want to thank Jason Kirsty Brooks as small group leaders for the last two years, helping me gain insight into the love of God and my spiritual gifts. I also want to thank my wife, Brooke, for always standing by me and keeping me motivated and grounded. I would like to share Psalm 143 as verses of perseverance in my life today and quote Psalm 143, 10. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. I am here today to say that Jesus has broken every chain and that I have been set free. He has truly ransomed me from the deceiver. Tom, God has done a work in your life. Because of Jesus, we are standing here today and he gave you a second chance. I am so thankful that you're here, that we get to do this and we get to hear your story. And then you've got a ton of family here, your daughter's here, and you're doing this on Father's Day. How perfect is this? My, what I love about your story is how you said, he can take my chaos and turn it into light. That's for someone out here. I don't know where you are or how down you're feeling, but God is for you or what you're going through, God is for you. And he can turn any chaos into light and he can turn your chaos into light. Just take a step towards God because of what Jesus did, he can do that. And that's Tom's story. Because of your profession of faith, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father who loves you, the Son who died for you, and the Spirit who lives inside of you.